Alright, readings and salutations, uh, new weeks, new readings, welcome back, we're going to do Divine Feminine situation for this week, and following this is going to be Twin Flames in Union, Reunion, and Recognition. Um, I'm going to do an infinite read for that too, an infinite spread. So, as always, head, shoulders, knees, and toes rant, head, that's swords, thoughts, decisions, mentality, ideology. That's the direction you're going. That's the decisions that you're making. Everything starts from the mind. Then you got cups. Cups are feelings and emotions. All feelings and emotions are just indicators on where you're going mentally. Heart must be aligned. Heart and mind must be aligned with everything that you do. You ain't half assing nothing around here. Who is the heart and mind department? The divine feminine, you can tell. Then you got wands. Wands are actions and behavior, things you're doing, things you've done. Now, what you finna do because you ain't did it yet. There's accountability and karma to what you've done. There's accountability and karma to what you're doing, not what you finna do. Who's the king of wands? Or well, the king of the wands and pentacles department? That's the divine feminine. I mean, excuse me, the divine masculine who's in my hand here. And he's out, and you're reading divine feminine. Um, and then you got pentacles. Pentacles are persons, places, and things, things you can taste, touch, see, feel, and hear. All pinnacles expire, all pinnacles have expiration dates, and all pinnacles are temporary. Quick rant, and we will begin. So, uh, just did my specials for February. I'm going to get some new specials going on for March. But aside from that, the book is finally ready. So, I'm going to start taking pre-orders next week. If you want to inquire about orders for the book now, you can do that. Um, it's original. That's the word I can use. <laughs> it's original and it's very exclusive. I don't want everybody to have this information. I mean, you're paying for it and shit like that, but you know, this is only while I got the control over it, power over it, you know what I mean? Like influence over it still. It's only going to not a select few, not a sound finna. Like you get it and you don't type situation. All who acquire it can have it, but you know, it's. A lot that's gonna come with it in a regular book. This ain't no regular ideology either, you know what I'm saying? This shit is life changing. So, just dropping that disclaimer. Doing pre orders for the book, LLE Ascension book, which is basically the deck, artwork for the deck. It's the card deck, just mine, <laughs> my version. Um, and like I say, a book of very, very valid information. It ain't just card breakdowns, it's knowledge. You know what I mean? So, Inquiring minds, please inquire, and uh, I'll give you the whole process on how that goes, time length of the actual hard copy. You get a digital copy first um, until you get the hard or soft copy. Um, I'm doing audio book too, that probably ain't gonna come out to the summer, but it's ready for those who need it. Finally here, I'm excited as hell. <laughs> Anxious to really see how this goes. So I just want to say that, doing specials, uh, for another 72 hours if you want to take advantage and like I say I'm doing pre-orders for the book. Also got merch, but when that's tight and ready, I'll open the door with that. You can do pre-orders for merch too. Uh, clothing, stuff like that. Let's get away. Let's, let's, let's get away. <clears throat> A few calls to make and I want to get this done wrapped up early. So, um... First card this message, overall energy, it's fairly important. Reading starts in four minutes, by the way. Divine Feminine, I'm a Divine Feminine too, by the way. You got the Nine of Swords. This is stress. Losing sleep, losing teeth, losing hair, or losing weight, or gaining weight. The wrong way, just from having too many damn thoughts. Life. It's a bitch, man. You know what I mean? You gotta know how to handle it. <laughs> she get out of hand sometimes. You know what I'm saying? So, when it comes to any obstacle, it's all in the mind. Ain't nothing out here should have you stressing to where you're losing your hair, stressing to where you're losing sleep, stressing to where you can't eat, stressing to where you can't work, can't focus. There's too many damn thoughts. You need to at least eliminate a few of these. Due to too many thoughts, too many directions you can go, or like I'll be kind of current situation I'm in right now, running around with a chicken with my head cut off and shit, trying to handle some business. You know what I mean? Because um, emergencies happen. But always remember, it's always a way out. It's always, it's always a way. Life finds a way. Make sure you find that way. 
spend your thoughts and energy trying to figure that out, which is only one thing, finding that direction or that, that, that decision you need to make that way, other than, like I say, stressing over the inevitable. Going backwards, doing things you say you ain't gonna do no more. You know what I mean? Life happens, and even if you prepare, life can still happen to you. You know what I mean? So, in in, in worst case scenarios, always remember, you gotta keep a level head, stay calm, cool, and collected. Stress kills, and it's mental. That's just fairly important. Bottom line, it's very important. We got the six of swords. So whatever you're stressing about, that's down what I'm saying? It's going to work itself out. Now, <clears throat> things don't work themselves out by themselves. Like I say, you got actions and behavior. Wands that you do to a pinnacle, create or manifest things. Pinnacles could also be manifestation. Through action. You know, through action. That's how you manifest. It ain't about what you feel. Like I say Stress. It makes no sense you stressing yourself down for anything. Stressing yourself out over anything. Boggling yourself mentally over anything. Because like I say, your heart and mind must be aligned. So if you kind of dumps mentally, then your heart is aligning to that. Thus, you emotionally out of balance. Just always remember this. Your feelings and emotions matter to things that don't matter to people. I'm going to break that down. Your passions. Those are your passions, your emotions. Those are yours. Your feelings, those are yours. However you feel, whatever your emotion is, it is not on the same wavelength of somebody else. Vibes, energy, different. Like meeting your twin flame. That's your other half. You don't know them, but you feel like you've known them before. Or you felt their presence is like familiar. It's a familiar energy, a familiar signature. Your soul tribe, where you find your tribe, you know what I'm saying? It's a familiar signature. It's more so empirical and spiritual than like energy or vibe or some shit like that. You know, it's basically like the way a baby identifies their mother, their father. It's a natural chemical thing that goes to that. You know I mean? Also exposure. But I'm saying oh, I should say this. Six of Swords is my coolest card. In the movie Coolest. Everybody was cool. Teachers was cool. Students was cool. Parents was cool. Kids was cool. But at the end of the movie, everything makes sense. Everything makes sense. Everything worked itself out. But it ain't like, like I say, life isn't on autopilot, though. So due to actions and behavior, as long as you try, everything is going to work out. You don't have the means, you don't have the money, you don't have whatever. Like I said, as long as you try, as long as you're doing, ING, that's the current. As long as you're doing something about your situation, then it will change for the best or the better. Doing nothing won't change anything at all. You're really leaving life up to the, the roll of the dice. That's not how life works. So, moving on to the meat and potatoes. Directly, consciously, coming into the situation, this is energy you either coming into or energy you just leaving out. It varies for, for different things. You got the Three of Cups. This has been coming out very prominently, at least I would say the past two, three weeks. Three of Cups is distractions of third party. It's celebrations in the original, you know, tarot deck, but sell all your ascension here. <laughs> three of Cups. Really represents the evolution of a relationship, two of cups, of a friendship, two of cups, of a kinship, relationship between you and your family, you and your child, you and your mother, you and your brother, whomever. Kinships, relationships, friendships, ships at the end of the day, the evolution of your ship. Because when you're on a ship, it's like you got the captain and the first mate. There's two people on the ship. It's two hearts, that's two feelings, that's two different tastes, that's two different emotions, two different feelings, two different decision-making, two different directions. And they have to be in harmony while y'all on this boat. Can't just have it one way because you got another person here and they can't just do what they want to do because they got to have at least respect for another person. Thus, it's a connection. You two can hate each other, but you're on the same boat with a job to do. So it has to be some type of harmony in any ship. 
But the evolution of a ship, relationship, you love the person to death. Found the one. Okay, that's cool in the game. But you ain't just loving this person. You loving this person and maybe their children that they have that ain't yours that you still got to love. The family that they have who probably don't like you, but you still got to find harmony within them. All the baggage that your bride to be or husband to be has. Everybody got some shit attached to them. You fall in love with a person. You fall in love with a person and their baggage, a person and their family, a person and their career and dreams and aspirations. The, the hearts and feelings and emotions, which is just indicators of where you're going mentally, that's attached to the people you love or have a partnership with, relationship with, or kinship with. Evolution. Feminine. <laughs> when it comes to your relationships, they have to evolve. If a person can't accept you and everything that comes with you, then damn it, they don't deserve it. If you ain't grown emotionally to accept everything that comes with the person you love, then you still got work to do. Three of Cups. Don't let it be a distraction. Once again, ain't nobody in the way of your relationship. You can get in the own way of it, though. If you worried about, you know, speaking relationship-wise, you worried about who your man or masculine, so to speak, divine masculine, karma masculine, who they talking to, who they, whatever they got going on. Like I said, all you're going to do is just worry yourself with that. Stress yourself over the out of it. You know what I mean? <clears throat> Don't get distracted by other people's hearts, other people's cups, other people's feelings, other people's emotions. Whether that's towards you or whatever the fuck they got going on. They doing good in their career right now. So where, like I say, you are in a relationship, but the person you love career just took the fuck off. Their hearts, desires, and dreams are manifesting right now. Shit that they've been working hard for. As a fucking lover, you should be able to support them in their, while they up right now. Because when they was down, it was all good. You was taking care of them. You was always around and all that. Now that there's no need for you or maybe that this person is more independent, maybe it's that their time to shine and they got to put a lot of time, energy, and resources into their career, into their business, into their children who's graduating or going to another level or whatever the fuck. Wait a minute. Don't get distracted by other people's cups. That's their cup. That ain't your cup. I mean, they got family problems going on. Okay, let them deal with it. Love them and, you know, love them from afar. Ain't nothing you can do to help them. Ain't no feeling or emotion you can give off that's going to fix whatever they're going through with their cups. Matter of fact, you should be weary of the, of the shit you got going on in your own cups. You know what I'm saying? Don't get distracted by other people's problems. You got problems of your own. Don't get distracted by other people's success. You got success to, to, to manifest on your own. But worry about everybody else wins. You got wins coming. Or they already here. Don't worry about what everybody else got. You got some shit going on in yourself. Take pride in that. Because what you don't see, subconscious, Mr. McGannis, you got the divine masculine here in full form. And using the masculines in full form like this, he gets a tendency to either burn you. And what I mean by burn is like piss you off. Or maybe he's hot. You know what I mean? What I mean by high, like, like I say, your actions and behavior, feminine, there's certain shit you do that pisses your masculine the fuck off. It's certain emotions and feelings that you be having that just gets your masculine just kind of on fire like this. It, it's something you did. You know what I mean? I got your masculine heated or hot. If he ain't mad or heated or annoyed or whatever he is off your actions and behavior, wand then this is just your masculine, like I say, evolving or glowing or growing. Like I say, <clears throat> you ain't just the only one blessed out here, divine feminine. Like, you bless your divine masculine. You ain't the only one on some good, great shit out here. Your divine masculine coming up on shit, too. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, it just seems a lot like, I'll say, two or three situations. You got some of my masters out here who own a shit. The good things are happening to them. It's been a long time coming. It's their time. Best thing you can do is support your masculine. Whatever he doing, what he doing. Like I say, sometimes roles switch. I broke down in the last reading the two of wands, which is the divine masculine role, and the three of wands, which is the divine feminine role. 
You understand what I'm saying? But sometimes shit switch. Sometimes masculine got shit going on. Feminine, maybe you in a cold spell right now. But whatever you doing, you need to support your masculine and what he got going on. Same role he has for you. You know what I'm saying? All your masculine is supposed to do is support you. He, you call, he pick up. That's him doing his job. You need him to show up and show out somewhere. He shows up and shows up. Minimal shit. But shit that's important to you. Because you got three of one going on. You got a lot of shit going on. So any support you can get. Especially consistent support. Especially from your divine masculine. is always good. But sometimes in feminine. You got to support your masculine. Sometimes feminine. You got to get on board with your divine masculine. For both. Sometimes he has to be the captain. Roll switch. I see some feminines like this. It's a world reversal. Or maybe vice versa. Feminine, you got some shit popping now. When masculine was popping, now he kind of on chill and you kind of on fire. And he's feeling some way about that. It's And what I mean by like he's hot and mad, it ain't like yo masculine bad at you or something you did that's going to result in separation for you scary ass twins out there. Like, nah, like I say, it's just as much as you make your feminine, your masculine's day divine feminine, you can also blow his buzz. Fuck up his vibe. Fuck up his cheek, his energy. Or, you know, throw him off a bit. By the way you maneuver or handle your obstacles. Why is the master really here? Five of Swords, focus. Your master's kind of focused on something, or maybe you're putting too much focus on the mask. Continuing, more smoke. Four of Wands, to flame union, union, and recognition. I like to see this. So, like I said, at this very moment, at this present time, your masculine is just five of swords, which is the focus card. Focusing on four of wands, which is to inflame union, reunion, and recognition. Or coming home. And like I said, your masculine moves subconscious or on autopilot when it comes to this to inflame. What you don't see in the midst of you kind of being distracted right now by life's ills or just emergencies or just life. Like I said, life happened. In the midst of all that, Yoda Ryan Masson is really focused on how to come back home. Like I said, the Four of Wands has been out in and around your Divine Masculine's energy for about two months now. Like I said, Four of Wands, Twin Flame, Union, Reunion, Recognition. You've been waiting for your Masculine to reunite. He's reuniting. You've been waiting on Union. Union is happening. You've been waiting to find your twin. A lot of twins go find each other. Masculine is focused on positivity. So, some shit my Masculine told me the other day. Him and my mother, like I said, their birthday is a week apart. They both Sagittarius and some shit. He's a male version of my mother. My mother's definitely a female version of him. My mother's a masculine energy, too. So is my twin sister. So is my little brother. I'm like the only feminine energy in the family, and it's only four of us. You know? But anyway, uh, I'm just like, nigga, you negative, man. You too negative. I'm like, I ain't negative. I'm more like a realist. <laughs> Like, just so engulfed in reality and not fantasy that, you know, it could be a buzzkill. Just being in reality all day. Like, I don't even read fiction books. It's like, what's the point? What's the point? I mean, we're reading here, you know what I mean? If I read something, I'd rather read something historical, something factual, or something metaphysical. You know what I mean? But, and I don't think I'm negative. <laughs> I just look like this. It's just my tone. You know what I mean? People just give me wrong. People just give me misconstrued and shit. You know what I mean? But, you know, it's crazy what my master is focused on. It's almost like he's just focused on. First of all, he's focused on what he needs to focus on. It ain't just my masculine. It's y'all's too. Some. I'm talking to some people, not all. But we're all kind of resonating on the same energy anyway. But yeah, a lot of masculines are really aware. A lot of masculines are really coming home. A lot of masculines are really evolved. A lot of masculines have really changed. And like I say, union usually happens when you don't expect it. You know, reunion happens when you really don't expect it. Union happened with me. And like I say, recognition happens one time. So, and recognition lasts between the time you recognize your twin to like the first two years. 
And like I say, during recognition period, that's the that's the time to really get to know your twin. If, if you're doing anything with your twin, get to know them. Talk, converse, really dive deep, play twenty questions and shit. Really get to know them as a person. You know what I mean? Best time to do it is recognition, because it seems like that's the time y'all really only got time to do that. Shit changes over the years. Careers change, health change, age, you know, a lot of shit. Um, I can say, yo, man, some good. I mean, I had psychic friends tell me, hey, you're in the union. It's like, I don't see it. I don't, you know, I hear you. You know I mean, I ain't not, you know, I ain't not believing it, but what I'm saying, I don't know. And boom, got the union. Wasn't ready for it, wasn't prepared for it. With that, I ended up in separation kind of quickly. So I say this too, you know, at least you getting this reading, hearing union and re recognition and reunion is on the way. Have a plan. Have something you want to do with your mask. When your mask and finally, like I say, gets in harmony and all union is to me is like I say, yo, you and your mask are on the same page. Divine feminine. Or you and your feminine on the same page, Divine masculine. You need your feminine to do some shit. You got a like a master plan. So my twin throws in my face all the time. Had I listened to my twin in the beginning, I would have been well off. Probably wouldn't be no psychic and all this shit right here. But, you know, my masculine had a plan for me. I mean, he had other plans, but had I listened to him, I would be well off. <laughs> Cause he had a plan, and you know, it's just you never know. But like I said, I see a lot of masculines who are ready to leave. Feminine, let them do that. I see a lot of masculines who are ready to come home. Feminine, let them do that. But I also see this shit happening at a whack, whack time for you to buy feminine. And it's going to suck, but it's worth every risk. Feminine, bro. Feminine, you in regards to yourself, you got the King of Cups. This is my tough love card. Uh, 1950s, 1960s dad. Card in my deck. Uh, this has been coming out prevalent. Been doing the whole Dan Laurier from Wonder Years, Archie Bunker from All in the Family, uh, George Je Jefferson from the Jeffersons, George Jetson from the Jetsons, Fred Flintstone from the Flintstones. Not Danny Tanner. I've been saying that shit all week. It's the energy you need to have. Like I said, it's the highest form of emotion you can be on. It's emotion to say fuck it to any and everything that ain't about the kingdom of God or about your own personal kingdom. Once again, what does your kingdom consist of? Your life. And everything in it. Your children. Your twin flame. God is, you know, in your kingdom. Like, it's your kingdom. Whatever you call yours. It's whatever you're fighting for. It's whatever you're trying to expand. It's whatever you're trying to grow. It's whatever you're trying to manifest. You and yours. That's your kingdom. On earth. And then you got the kingdom of God. Which is, like I said, <clears throat> fourth, fifth dimension. Kingdom of God is always God business to do. God body business to do. Like I say, it's always a person to help. It's always a person to guide. It's always a person to save. It's always a person to feed. It's always a person to... All you got is your time, energy, and resources and money. Every... These are things you can't get back. These are things you can't take with you when you die too. So, you know, uh, if it ain't for the good of tomorrow or to help another person, outside yourself and your family, or to help yourself and your kingdom, then you shouldn't give a fuck about it. That shit one more time. If it ain't for the good of the kingdom, God's kingdom or your kingdom, if it ain't helping somebody else outside yourself and your family, or helping yourself and your kingdom, like if, if it doesn't involve that, it don't need your time, energy, and resources. If it ain't finna get you paid, who gives a fuck? If it's a waste of time, say that. This is not a weak yes. This is not a passive no. This is having a firm grip. Feelings and emotions are just indicators on where a person is going mentally. A person's falling to fucking pieces, that's just indicators on where they're going mentally. You holding it together emotionally. You ain't falling apart. Your feelings and emotions are intact. Of course, you're going to shatter some thin skin or glass jaw having ass people. You know what I'm saying? From your firm. You firm. You stand firm in this energy. You're in this energy, you stand firm in. And this is also, like I say, what the Divine Master does all the time. It's just like not showing emotion. 
having a good poker face, not letting your left hand know what your right hand doing, not showing fear, even if you are scared. It's the equivalent of like a parent in an emergency. Your kid's scared as fuck. You can't fall to pieces because you're going to make your kids tweak on you. Like, damn, why I'm fucked up? This? I don't know what the fuck I'm going to do. You know, having a level head. It's, uh, this energy is the equivalent of, like I say, a plane losing altitude rapidly or some shit like that. The little gas mask come out. What's protocol with the gas mask? Parents, you put it on you first. Then you put it on the shorties. Because if you pass out, like you get on the mask first and say you pass out. Well, shit, they fucked up. They struck. You know what I'm saying? At least with you alive, you can do more for your kids. You can't do too much for them dead. Especially in a situation like that. Like, parent, mask first for you to function to help the shorties. We just talking like that's a plane crash protocol. We ain't talking about just regular protocol. Kids and women first and shit. But like I say, parents, you put it on first. I mean, it ain't like you saving yourself before your kids. It's just protocol. You got to have air to function. You can always give them CPR. They don't know how to give CPR. You do. <laughs> that's it. Protocol. It's just a protocol thing. And that's what protocol is. You know, Be firm. Don't give a weak yes or a weak no or be iffy. Like, stand firm. Stand strong in these feelings that you're going to have. And it's called tough love for a reason. You got to be tough on people. You got to be tough on yourself. You got to be tough in life. Because it'll eat you alive. What you don't see, and this is all deals with you, what you don't see is the fool card. Fibbity, you'd be a damn fool to not be tough right now. Once again, it's a lot of weaklings around here. There's a lot of people falling to pieces. Don't fall to pieces with them. You got to be the level-headed person. You might want to break down. You might want to show your emotion, but don't do that. Same the time. You got to have a real hard-ass way of looking at life right now. Like I say, a situation that's going on with your family right now that... that Try to find another example. It's like <laughs> when I was in Utah, you know what I'm saying? Uh, hang with my little brother, he stay out there and shit. Uh, my little niece, she was walking up some big ass stairs. And, you know, she fell and bust her shit. So, bro, I could look at him and tell he wanted to come to her aid, but he played it off. And then his wife tried to come to her aid. Bro was like, mm. you know. and what did little Nisi do? Little Nisi cried for like two seconds, looked around, seen when nobody gonna help her. She got her ass back up and got up them stairs. You know what I'm saying? And bro was like, that's what I'm talking about. And you know what I mean? It's that type of tough luck. You know what I'm saying? They'll be all right. <laughs> It ain't cold blood. It's just life, man. You know what I'm saying? And you the one teaching the lesson. So whether this comes, like I said, relationships, partnerships, friendships, kinships, family, feminine, got to be a little bit more tough. Whether that's you putting your big draws hat on and just keeping a aura of you got things under control, even though you kind of crumble inside, it's good for you to have this hard exterior because it's a lot of people watching you and, and like they they looking for that from you because if you go to pieces they're gonna go to pieces because it's fucking you up so damn how the fuck they gonna you know what I'm saying how they gonna survive that type of energy it's for all the matriarchs and patriarchs and family mask in a row uh just keeping it real Bill Holyfield divine feminine and your conscious direct energy you got a 10 and in your subconscious indirect Mystery madness energy, you got a 10. And 10 is all about completions. You got happiness in your subconscious, and you got a manifestation in your conscious. And this involves the masculine energy. So in this case, I'm not talking about your divine. Well, a few ways I'm going to go with it. So first and foremost, feminine energy, you do got masculine energy in you too. Masculines, you do got a little feminine in you too. You know what I mean? It's both energies. It's just a dominant energy. That's what makes me divine feminine. It's just more dom the feminine energy in me is just way more dominant than the masculine. 
it's like I say, some shit you need to manifest. And we got three red cards too, the three of cups. You came into the situation with the king of cups that was in the feminine role. And this ten of pentacles that's in the masculine role. This, this is also in the book too. Three red cards, when they come up, at least when you pull on the LLE Ascension deck, it's a warning. Usually a warning. God, I either try to tell you something or this is something to really keep in mind. You need to manifest something. Urgently. It's still early. Like you're still trying to figure out how you're going to manifest whatever it needs to be manifested. It just It ain't even the future. Soon, too. You're going to manifest what you need to manifest. But... Oh, it's a big butt here. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> it's only going to be a remedy, not a cure. This manifestation that you need to happen, Divine Feminine, and, and it varies from different feminine. It's only going to be a remedy, not a cure. That's dealing with business. That's dealing with people or a situation you currently dealing with right now. When it comes to relationships, Ten of Pentacles is two people coming together like butt cheeks or two people sharing a life together. Ten of Pentacles can represent sex between two people. Ten of Pentacles can also be, like I say, um, you get married. Let's stop being boyfriend and girlfriend. Let's be fiance. <laughs> Let's get married. Let's get married. Like, to the pinnacles is two people moving together. Two people joining a joint bank account. Two people pulling their resources together. Two people becoming one. Like I say, even if you manifest union, reunion, recognition, or wands, it's still a step after it. Five of wands, which is separation or outside conflict. So even if y'all don't separate, say y'all just getting into union, reunion, recognition, you still got the day after. You automatically going to the four, I mean to the five of one. We start getting into outside conflict. It's like it's like, well, now that we found love, what are we gonna do with it? Like, okay. Now that you find your twin flame, okay, shit. Now the game actually begins. It's always the day after. <laughs> it's like I say, it's gonna be a 10. During a wedding day and a motherfucking honeymoon, but it's gonna be a six going back to work from the honeymoon. It's gonna be a six after the fact. You know what I mean? It's gonna be good, great. To the pinnacles, one hundred percent. That's a great position. But then it always goes back to the six. You know, it's just the after effect, the afterglow. You just had the best night ever at the club, hypothetically speaking. You met a good friend and shit, and you weren't even gonna come out. You having a, a good ass time. It's the best time you didn't had in a long time. Then it's three o'clock. I right. closing time. <laughs> Lights come on. And it's like, oh shit. Well, <laughs> that was that. It's like you know, it's the end of it. Like people spending all this money to go see Beyonce and shit. Like all this bread, yeah, nigga. Y'all spending house notes. I was spending car notes. I was spending a lot of money to go see BB. I, I don't know. I ain't never been a Beyonce fan and shit, but you know, I want. You know, I love Sade and Anita Baker, dog. And I would pay to go see Sade or Anita Baker. You know what I'm saying? But I ain't gonna pay Beyonce prices to go see my queens. Like I don't. That's not a good business move financially. That's not. I don't know. I can't make that happen. But like I said. <laughs> It's like for those that's going to see Beyonce. It's cool in the game. Yeah, I got me tickets. Oh shit, she lucky as hell. Or like the people that's taking pictures with Chris Brown and shit, like for two racks and shit. Like, I mean, it's cool in the game. Prior and at the at the spot, but imagine the day after the Beyonce concert. You're really looking at your bank account. Like, damn, I really just spent all them racks for a couple of hours. <laughs> It's like back to life, back to reality, even though it was all good. It's, it's just always the day after. 
And that could be a distraction in itself. You, you, you're so distracted by trying to maintain this happiness or maintaining this moment. When, like I say, it steps after these. You got after what's after the ten? The knights, queens, kings, and things. Aces and tens are karmic cycles. That shit karmics go through all day, every day, like hamsters in a dribble wheel going round and round. But how do the vines move? Ace to ten like the karmics. But we also go through knights, queens, kings, and things. And back around to the ace to the ten. So ace to ten, knights, queens, kings, and things, and back. We move in an infinity. And what's an infinity? It don't stop. Don't try to keep good moments. Like I say, other moments are happening. Yeah, you up, but you could go down quick. I'm not being negative. I'm just being a realist here. You could prepare all day, but like I say, life don't give a fuck about them plans, man. You know what I'm saying? Life is going to happen. You know what I mean? So you can have plan A, B, C, and D. Plan F might need to happen. ASAP. You can still have plan A, B, C, and D, but plan F might need to happen. You know? You roll with the punches. In life. But the best way to really maneuver in life is, like I say, to have a level head. It all starts with the sword. The head. Sword. Thoughts, decisions, mentality, ideology, direction you're going, decisions you're making. You know what I mean? It all starts from the mind. So keep in mind joy and pain, sunshine and rain. For every good thing, it's always the drawback. It ain't got to be bad, the drawback. It just ain't what it was. It just ain't. What it's gonna be forever. Every, you know, like I say, pinnacles, they come and go. Pinnacles get stolen, took in, replaced, substituted, lost. Enjoy your pinnacles while you got them, because like I say, they come and go. You can't take these pinnacles with you in the end. I see a lot of good shit happening to you, feminists. But I do see a lot of feminists getting caught up in the rapture of love. Yes, unions happen like you finally hear it. It's like you doing everything in your power to keep this shit where it's at. It's like, yeah, I just got a union. I'm going to make sure I stay in this for as long as I can. It don't work like that. I'm not saying separation is going to happen soon. It could happen later. But like I said, just... That's why you go about this twin flame shit. is just, like I say, the way the divine masculine does. Enjoy it in the current, in the moment. If it come, cool. If it don't, cool. You see your twin, cool. You don't see your twin, cool. Like, I'm telling you, be, you want to lock me on the white masculine on how to maneuver through the situation. It's really just the emotions, King of Cups, that your masculine possess in it. But it's all good. I see nothing but goodness happening. So enjoy it. Enjoy what's to come. You know, you're going to manifest some shit that you need it. It's going to shock you how quick you can manifesting. But like I say, you still got the drawback. You still got tomorrow. You still got next week. You still got next year. We still got life after union, reunion and recognition. Life after this manifestation. Life after happiness. Happiness is a feeling and emotion. It's temporary. Pinnacles aren't just temporary. They come and go. You're going to be happy again, but you're not going to be happy forever. Like, and a consistent, happy energy for life. It don't work like that. Sin. Death happens. Calamity happens. Shit happens to other people in the world or people that's close to you. You could be happy as shit. But like I say, if you, like I say, if you're prolonging happiness, if you're prolonging this good thing that's just happened, it's just a bad move, you know. You and I don't know how. To, like I said, masculines feel me, but I don't think you feminists feel me right now. What the fuck I'm saying right now? Take that how you want. <laughs> Wrapping this up so we can get to the next reading. We got the Ace of Wands. Uh, feminine, you going to the future? What it wears? 
a lot of things is going to transpire this week. You know what I mean? But really, like I said, the main thing you're going to get is just the awareness of yourself, the awareness of your true power. You can actually see your potential. It's like, damn, I didn't even think I could pull that off, but I did that shit with ease. I can only imagine what else I can do. I just made a way out of nowhere. Man, maybe I'm built for this. Maybe I could, like, <laughs> like I said, it's just learning a lot about yourself. Courage you didn't think you had. Patience you didn't think you had. A level head you didn't think you had. Uh, not cold heart, but tough love you didn't think you had. You know what I'm saying? It's something, like I said, you're just going to shock and awe yourself at two things. I'm going to say this and wrap this up. You're going to shock your thing on how, how smart you are, how patient you are, how powerful you are, how much unconditional love you do have, how much control you do have. And I mean, kind of control is not manipulation control. Control like self-control. To, to not flip out or give in or play by other people's shit. You know what I mean? Or not fall to pieces or whatever the fuck like that. Like, you're going to get very aware on your A4 abilities and how far your actions and behavior go. On another flip side, you're going to get very aware at your dark side, shadow side, shady side. You know, getting aware of like your karmic tendencies. Queen of Pentacles could be a karmic feminine or my Khalid's Khalid bossy car, which is basically take advantage, taking, advantage of, taking advantage of situations that present themselves. It's like, hey, we're giving out a free something, 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 something. We'll take the first three participants. And it's like, you bum rush that shit. Yeah, hold on, I'm there. You run up there just to be the first person to sign up and shit. Like I say, it turns out to be something beneficial that's going to help you. Usually you pay no mind to that or would be preoccupied with something else to where this wouldn't even like be no interest to you. But it's like, like I say, you. Uh, opportunity presented itself, you took advantage of it, and you capitalized. Yeah, we're doing a raffle ticket at work for the people that sell the most whatever the fuck. You wouldn't care. Usually on a regular day, but today it's like, you know what? Let me see if I can do this shit. And you do it, and it's like, you come the fuck up. You sell the most. Aside from coming up off that commission, all them sales you just made trying to do this shit, trying, I-N-G, to do this shit, it's like, boom, you got the prize. Now you are want something, you know, Something that's going to help in the future. Take advantage. When opportunities present themselves to the line feminine, hop on that shit. Bask them. Do it every time. And then you're going to get, like I say, fully aware of what your masculine tendencies are from watching your masculine move and taking advantage of that. But yeah, you're really going to see your dark side. How much of a bitch you can be. I could be a bitch sometimes. <laughs> really going to see how shady you can be sometimes. But only to things that ain't important to you. Or shit that's small to you. You know what I'm saying? Like I say, that part. You gotta see how much of an anger problem that you have. I know that's one thing we want to do that. We both got anger issues. We can flip out. Light and dark. Joy and pain. Sunshine and rain. It's not duality, because I don't believe in that shit. It's only one right way and that stuff. That's divinity. That's ascension, but we are we are human beings, and by having flesh, it just keeps us on the other side. So you're gonna get very well of your dark side. When well, I mean my dark, I'm not acknowledging evil, none of that shit like that. Cause I don't fuck with that side. I'm just saying we're human. You do got tendencies. You ain't as perfect as you think you are. You ain't as light as you might think. You know what I mean? It's a whole nother coin to yourself, and that's what you're gonna get aware of. That's the message I got, though. I hope I could be of good use. It's your boy, D-Boom. Please stay tuned for the next message. Deuces.